By now, you're probably aware of some of the wonderful technologies that blockchains have brought us. Without blockchains, we wouldn't have smart contracts or NFTs. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin exist because of blockchain technology. But for all of the wonderful things that blockchains have brought us, they aren't without a few limitations. And that's where Cosmos comes in. Built as the Internet of Blockchains, Cosmos aims to solve some of the biggest problems that have plagued blockchains for years. Welcome to Crypto Sketch 101. We're the number one go-to spot for all things crypto, and we're glad you've stopped by. If you love cryptos as much as we do, please give this video a like, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down Cosmos. We'll take a look at some of the problems that exist with blockchains today, and the vision of Cosmos to provide solutions to these problems. We'll also take a quick look at the native token of Cosmos, Atom. So let's get into it. In order to understand the solutions that Cosmos aims to offer, it's important to first understand the problems that exist with today's blockchains. Number 1. Scalability Scalability is the ability of blockchains to process a large number of transactions at any given time. For all their popularity, Bitcoin and Ethereum aren't very fast. Bitcoin can process about 7 transactions per second before it starts having issues. For Ethereum, that number is about 14. The second issue is interoperability. Interoperability is the ability of blockchains to connect with one another and exchange information without restrictions. In today's current environment, blockchains operate independently and do not exchange information with each other. For example, the Bitcoin blockchain has no ability to communicate with the Ethereum blockchain and vice versa. Third, usability. Usability relates to the ability of developers to easily create decentralized applications, or dApps for short, and smart contracts. On the Ethereum blockchain, the platform used for such purposes is called the Ethereum Virtual Machine or EVM. The problem with EVM is that it functions as a sandbox solution. Instead of focusing on a single problem, it forces developers to attempt to optimize their applications for a majority of potential use cases. It forces developers to make compromises on design and efficiency. And last is sovereignty. Because applications share the same underlying environment, their sovereignty is constrained. There are two levels of governance, the application level and the underlying environment level. The application level is restricted by the underlying environment level. Now that you know what the problems are, let's take a look at how Cosmos hopes to resolve them. Beginning with scalability. Existing proof-of-work protocols are pricey, slow, and harmful to the environment due to the amount of energy that they require. This negatively impacts scalability. With Tendermint, Cosmos hopes to resolve this. Tendermint Byzantine Fault Tolerance, or BFT for short, is a technique used to protect the network, validate transactions, and commit blocks to the blockchain by a network of computers running the Cosmos software. It communicates with applications through the application blockchain interface protocol. This consensus engine can theoretically handle up to 10,000 transactions per second which is far superior to blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum. To tackle interoperability, Cosmos hopes to make use of a protocol called Interblockchain Communication Protocol or IBC. IBC leverages the speed and instant finality of Tendermint to allow different blockchains to transfer data to each other. Here's an example of how IBC works. Let's say that John wants to send 100 tokens from chain A to chain B. Before his tokens can be sent, proof is sent to chain B. When chain B receives the proof it checks with chain A to make sure that more than two-thirds of the validators on chain A have signed the proof to confirm John's ownership of the tokens on chain A. Once validated, John's tokens will be made validated on Chain B. Next is the issue of usability. Cosmos hopes to alleviate the issue of usability by way of its Cosmos SDK. Cosmos SDK is a technology tool set designed to make building secure blockchain apps on top of Tendermint easier. For developers, the process of creating a blockchain should be streamlined to the point where it is no more difficult than coding a few modules. Cosmos SDK is also used to resolve the issue of sovereignty. 
When an application is built on the Cosmos network, the governance layers are removed and thus streamlines the process. Now that you know about some of the problems that have plagued blockchains and how Cosmos hopes to alleviate some of those pain points, you may be curious about Cosmos from an investment perspective. If you're looking to invest, Atom is your token. The Cosmos ICO was held back in April of 2019. Initial Atom tokens were distributed to the Cosmos Foundation, core developers, and initial donors. Holding Atom gives the holder the ability to vote on governance issues, pay for transaction fees, and stake and validate blocks. At the time of this video, Cosmos is the 20th largest cryptocurrency in market cap at nearly $890 million. It has a circulating supply of nearly 286 million Atom and is trading close to $29. And that's all we have for today's video. We hope you got a good understanding of some of the major issues impacting today's blockchains and how Cosmos hopes to address many of those issues. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining and we'll catch you in the next one.